In this video, I will be showing you guys the best Amani Tech vehicles in GTA Online. Altogether, throughout this whole video, I will be showing you 10 different Amani Tech vehicles, and in my opinion, these will be the best 10. Just keep in mind, some of these vehicles you guys can definitely switch out for different ones, and I would even argue that some of the vehicles in this list will be just as good as some of the other vehicles, which are ranked higher. I will also show you guys the price of the vehicles, the top speed, and the website where you can find them. So without wasting any more time guys, let's jump straight into this video. Before we start off with the number 10 spot it is worth mentioning that you guys need to earn an agency with the vehicle workshop to apply the Amani Tech upgrades. You guys can also run over to this computer in the corner and see all of the Amani Tech vehicles here as well. So guys, taking the number 10 spot, we have the Monstrosity. The price of the Monstrosity is just under $1.5 million and it will have a top speed of 109.75 miles per hour with a HSW speed of 135.75 miles per hour. The main reason that I put the Monstrosity at the number 10 spot is mainly because you will not be able to use any of your weapons whilst driving and another reason this will take the number 10 spot is because it can only take three homing launcher missiles but the main advantage of the monstrosity is first of all it can have the hsw upgrades applied to it alongside the amani tech upgrades as well and honestly the off-road ability of the vehicle itself is very good which is one of the main reasons why it is at the number 10 spot. Whilst there are other Amani Tech vehicles that are most likely better than the Monstrosity, which I have not included in this list. But this will now bring us to our number 9 spot, and this Amani Tech vehicle is called the Greenwood. You can purchase the Greenwood for a price of just under $1.5 million, very similar to the Monstrosity. The Greenwood will have a top speed of 118 miles per hour and can be found on the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website. I think the Greenwood is just a little bit better than the Monstrosity, and this is because it can be equipped with the armor plating, which will give it some more explosive resistance at 12 homing launcher missiles instead. And you guys will see with the other vehicles in this list, this is pretty much the standard. The Greenwood is a little bit faster than the Monstrosity without the HSW upgrades as well, whilst also being slightly cheaper when buying the vehicle. Altogether, to sum up the Greenwood, I would definitely say this is a great choice if you are trying to get into the Amani Tech upgrades. It's not overly expensive, but it still is a great vehicle. Taking the number 8 spot, we have the Anis 300R. Compared to the last two vehicles, this car will be a little bit more pricey at just over $2 million. It will have a top speed of 120 miles per hour, so just a little bit faster than the Greenwood, and it can be bought from the Legendary Murder Sport website. Just like the Greenwood, it will also have the armor plating, which will mean that it can tank 12 homing missile launchers. And with the 300R being a sports car, the handling and traction is a little bit better than the Greenwood. And this will now bring us to our number 7 spot, we have the Omnis EGT. The price of this vehicle will be substantially cheaper than the Anis 300R at just under $1.8 million. Now the real downside to the Omnis EGT will be its top speed at 111.50 miles per hour. You will be able to purchase the Omnis EGT from the Legendary Motorsport website and of course it can tank 12 homing launcher missiles. The reason I put the Omnis EGT above everything else so far is really because of how it looks. I think it just looks so much better than the Anis 300R, the Greenwood and the Monstrosity and another reason is really down to the price of the vehicle as well. But then again, in terms of value, you would probably get more value out of the Greenwood, with that being almost $300,000 cheaper. For number 6, we have the Patriot Millspec. This beast of a vehicle will cost you a little over $1.7 million, and it will have a top speed of 96 miles per hour, which is honestly understandable because of the size of the vehicle. You can buy this vehicle from the Warstock Cash and Carry website. And just like all of the other vehicles so far, apart from the monstrosity, it can tank 12 homing launcher missiles. Just looking at the Patriot mil spec, you would probably think it could tank a lot more missiles than that. But one really good feature that I would recommend that you apply to the vehicle if you buy it, is to put this sort of truck bed at the back of the vehicle so you guys could not get shot in the back. This will be very useful in different missions, and even GTA Online sessions. With this vehicle only having a 96 miles per hour top speed, I would say that it is probably essential that you buy this truck bed. 
And another benefit of this vehicle is that it is a military styled vehicle. So if you guys are into your military vehicles in GTA Online, this will be a great addition for you. But now guys, we are halfway through this list with the fifth spot. This will be the Jubilee. The best way that I can describe the Jubilee is a faster version of the Patriot mil spec. Not only that, but it is a cheaper version as well at a little over $1.6 million. Top speed of the Jubilee will be 116.75 miles per hour, and it can be bought from the legendary motorsport website. Just looking at the top speed of the Jubilee, it really does feel faster when you drive it, but maybe this is to do with the acceleration of the Jubilee. It feels like the vehicle can just accelerate super fast. Along with this, the Jubilee really does look nice. If you guys are into your SUV style vehicles in GTA Online, this will be a must have. In terms of the four vehicles before the Jubilee, I would definitely say that all of them are probably interchangeable with each other. It will really just come down to which vehicle you prefer the look of. And for me, I think the Jubilee looks the best or second best to the Omnis EGT. But this now brings us to our top four. And for the four spots, we have the Buffalo STX. The Buffalo STX will cost you a little over $2 million. And will be the most expensive vehicle in this list so far. With it being the most expensive vehicle so far, it also has the highest top speed so far at 126.25 miles per hour. The Buffalo STX can be purchased from the Southern San Andreas Super Autos website and can tank up to 12 homing launcher missiles. The Buffalo STX will feel incredible when driving around the city. The traction and handling of the Buffalo STX is just great. And in my opinion, it is one of the best Amani Tech vehicles you guys can get, especially if you guys play on the last gen consoles. Moving on from the Buffalo STX, we have another Buffalo vehicle. This will be the Buffalo EVX. The best way that I can describe the EVX to you guys is that the EVX is sort of the electric counterpart to the STX. Yes guys, the EVX is an electric vehicle and the Buffalo EVX will cost you $10,000 less than the STX. The top speed is a little bit less as well at 119 miles per hour, but in my opinion, the best part about the EVX is that it can be fitted with the HSW upgrades, which as you guys can see here, it will make a massive difference to the overall top speed at 144.80 miles per hour. You guys can purchase the EVX from the Legendary Motorsport website, and honestly, I do think that the EVX is just a little bit better than the STX, but this really comes down to the HSW upgrades for me. Even if you guys cannot get the HSW upgrades, just remember the Buffalo EVX is $10,000 cheaper, and with it being an electric vehicle, the acceleration will be incredible. But like most of the other vehicles in this list, I would definitely say that number four and number three can be switched around. I would seriously say that both of the vehicles are pretty much identical, but one is not electric and the other is electric. But moving on to our number two spot, we have the Ocelot Virtue. Now, of course, the Ocelot Virtue is by far one of the best vehicles you guys can get. At a standard price of just under $3 million, it might seem like a lot of money. However, you guys can completely get this for free if you play through all of the first dose and last dose missions as the host. The Ocelot Virtue, just like the EVX, is also an electric vehicle, which again means that the acceleration of the Virtue will be very good. It also has a top speed of 119.25 miles per hour and can be purchased on the legendary motorsport website. The reason the Ocelot Virtue is this high and comes in at the number two spot really comes down to it being pretty much a free vehicle. But alongside this, the Ocelot Virtue's handling and traction is some of the best you will probably see in this list. Although the top speed isn't anything crazy, the acceleration is what really makes up for that. And of course, it can be fitted with the armor plating, which can make this tank 12 homing launcher missiles. And last but not least, guys, taking the number one spot, we have the GTO Stinger TT. You guys can buy the Stinger TT for just over $2 million. So it is a lot cheaper than the Ocelot Virtue stock price if you guys do not get that for free. But what really sets apart the GTO Stinger TT is its top speed. You can see here the top speed of the Stinger TT will be 132 miles per hour, which is still technically less than the Pariah's top speed. But just remember the GTO Stinger TT will also have the HSW upgrades available. Once these upgrades are applied, the top speed of the Stinger TT is 168.50 miles per hour, making it the fastest current HSW vehicle. If you guys are anything like me and really like top speed in GTA Online, 
the Stinger TT will pretty much be a go-to vehicle. Even if you guys cannot get the HSW upgrades, having a 132 miles per hour top speed is still outstanding. And of course, if you pair this with all of the Amani tech upgrades it can have as well, you guys will have so much fun with the Stinger TT. One of the major downsides to the Stinger TT though is probably the traction and handling. It does seem to skid out a lot, especially if you guys do buy the HSW upgrades. But even then, with the Amani tech upgrades, I think this makes it worth it. But yeah guys, that will conclude this video of the best Amani tech vehicles you must own in GTA Online. Hopefully you guys found the information in this video somewhat useful. Useful. I would definitely say that it is really hard to rank the Amani Tech vehicles altogether. But if you think that I missed an Amani Tech vehicle that should definitely be in this list, make sure that you leave a comment down below. But anyways, guys, if you went on to enjoy this video or found it useful in any way, shape, or form, make sure to leave a like. I really appreciate your support. And if you guys are new here, subscribe and hit that bell icon to never miss a video. Finally, guys, stay safe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.